Hello everybody, I'm Kaushub Tripathi from Engineers Institute of India and I have scored a two-digit rank in gate examinations two times in 2018 and 2019. My score in 2018 was 70.33 and my score in 2019 is 68.69 marks. Uh, I have been associated with Engineers Institute of India for a while now. I have been a part of their classroom program and I have bought their test series uh, which helped me a lot during preparation for GATE. And I would like to talk about the general queries which people usually ask about GATE examination to me, to Pradeep sir, to other teachers of Engineers Institute. Uh, I have seen various aspirants putting up questions regarding the strategies and asking how what books to follow, what, what, what uh, options to take, what kind of test material should I take. And <clears throat> a lot of people have been asking me lately on my blog on Quora and through personal uh, contact. So I'll just put everything to you in this uh, little video. So let me just begin by telling you that there is always a strategy for gate examination. For any examination of this size, there always will be a strategy. Uh, it is not necessary that what strategy I tell you will as such be applicable in your case or what strategy somebody else tells me will as such be applicable in my case but there will always be a strategy and you have to design your strategy yourself. For my case, I watched a video of Mr. Yatendra. Mr. Yatendra scored uh, EIR2 in some previous year gate examination and uh, I was very impressed with, with, with whatever strategy he followed to prepare for gate examination. And I applied that strategy in my case. Not exactly, I did not cut, copy, paste the strategy, but I took inspiration from the strategy and I applied it in my, in my own case. So um, I'll explain to you in two ways. First for a student who is taking a classroom coaching. Second for a student who is a part of distance learning program or online test series or correspondence course or something like that. All right. So let me begin by uh, people who are a part of classroom program because I mostly encounter them on a day to day basis. So uh, people who are in classroom coaching program, let me tell you, it is pretty easy to score a two digit AIR rank considering that you know what gate asks you need not study for anything this is a general uh, concept which i'm delivering to you uh, people usually start study a lot of things people usually get confused between the syllabus uh, all right i want to know this i want to know this i want to know this but please mind that whatever you want to know by necessarily might not be in the syllabus for gate so you have to concentrate on the syllabus of gate in order to narrow down your strategy narrow down your approach to the syllabus so first thing first please consult the syllabus uh, for a classroom program the syllabus is pretty clear the teachers they know what they're teaching the teachers they teach particularly what the gate has asked in the previous year examinations and thus accordingly you make your notes they give you the notes you take down the notes and then uh, you don't worry about anything else you just have to study the notes for solve the previous year gate questions and sometimes they even give you the test series material which have been very thorough in engineers institute trust me i've been a part of the classroom coaching for a while and what i figured out that they give you proper material from time to time. They do not let any subject lag behind. The problem with uh, coaching, it happens that they usually teach and teach and teach and the students tend to forget the previous syllabus. But what happens here is that they give you uh, question papers from time to time. Uh, they keep you in touch with themselves they put efforts to uh, you know get interacted with you especially in our cases the students which i was in contact with they were uh, very you know uh, in mu very much in contact with pradeep sir through their uh, preparation time so yeah we do that this happens here so for a classroom program it's not a problem at all so you just have to consult the notes consult what the teacher is saying uh, give test which they deliver from time to time and rest i'll just continue in the later part for the correspondence course material for the correspondence course program there's a there's a strategy there is a different strategy which you have to follow first thing first buy a correspondence program this is very important if you're preparing for gate because the books are not sufficient i won't say sufficient mind me sufficient in terms of gate you'll study a lot of things in that which are not required for the gate examination so what do you do you buy yourself a correspondence material from say uh, I, I bought it from engineers institute of india the first time i prepare for the gate examination and they are very thorough with the material their material is having everything which is in the syllabus of the gate which is exactly what somebody who prepares on his own requires so uh, i'll tell you for correspondence materials you have 
the set of correspondence material you have the set of your books which you're going to follow uh, what you do is you derive the syllabus from correspondence material and you apply the syllabus from books all right so when you sit down to make notes this is usually in the month of uh, say uh, july august september october or november ish something uh, so the months from july august september october to november these months are to prepare your gate notes all right you do not worry about what have you studied or what will you study later on you have to worry about making notes taking down proper notes from proper uh, sources and the sources will be a correspondence material syllabus and the content from the book these two will help you to make proper notes which are asked in the previous year gate examinations after you make the notes you revise the notes in the duration of july to november end once you revise the notes next step would be to solve the previous year gate questions which is pretty much um, in uh, booklets eii provides a booklet uh, i solve the booklet like uh, say seven to eight times during my preparation course um the in which i solved questions from 2000 to 2018 uh many times in order to get thorough with what concepts gate has asked previously and where i can lag uh, there were mistakes i eradicated the mistakes on time which is very important for you you should not leave the mistakes pending uh this should be done by the month of november uh, say 15th of november you should be having your notes if you're not having a notes just sit on the 15th of november and check out whatever you with the notes which you're not having all right if say if you're having uh, fluid mechanics but you're left with the pump portion of the fluid mechanics say if you're having heat transfer but you're left with the evaporators portion of the heat transfer you see it in the syllabus but, but you do not see it in the notes make sure you go to some source and correct the notes notes for the evaporators and how to know that evaporator has been asked in a gate examination you just google it either google it or just search for the booklet eia booklet which which they give to you which they provide you all right so once you're done with this part so next part comes in the month of december and january students december and january are very crucial months all right i cannot emphasize less upon the importance of the uh, seconds which you waste in the months of december and january this these two december and january are, are uh, like the months of which whatever you have done in the past six months they need to be concluded and no matter if you have studied for 12 hours a day in the past six months if you do not conclude it in the month of december and january your preparation will be rendered useless totally utterly useless there will be no use of whatever you have learned because uh yeah i'll tell you why uh so we have <clears throat> from 1st of december to 15th of december i i know you must have accumulated your notes by the 31st of 30th of november november is 30 days yeah i suppose yeah yeah 30 days november so by 30th of november you must have accumulated all your notes now it's the time to revise your notes so how do you revise the notes you go through uh from 1st december to 15th of december you go through all the notes you have prepared you revise it maximum say 20 of december uh, because if this is not for just for chemical engineering this is a general gate strategy even for civil mechanical electrical or, or any examination so uh, you just have to go through all your notes if for, for chemical engineering it should ideally take 15 days for say mechanical or, or, or civil engineering it should take not more than like 20 days or something uh, in the meantime while you're revising are you just do not revise you solve previous year gate questions also solve it two times if you have the time just to make sure that you know how the gate put, puts the question for you all right so this entire package which is the solving of the gate previous year questions and preparation of notes this entire package should be done by 25th of december on 25th of december you should be having a diary or say small booklet in which you must be noting down all the doubts which you ever had like for the questions for for the concepts for uh, the theory for the formulas or anything you should clear all your doubts between 25th to 31st of december this is the period where you clear the last set of your doubts although the first set of your doubt or the second set of your doubts should be clear by end of november before you start revising from 1st to 15th or 20th of december but the last set of your doubts which are left which came by when you started revising your syllabus again should be clear by 20 between 25th to 31st of december now comes the month of january guys so the month of january is a little difficult time especially for the gate aspirants who have uh, quit their job and 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 now preparing for gate uh, this is a pressure time where you see that the gate is not far away and you are not 
may be thorough, may be not thorough with the preparation. Even if you are thorough with the preparation, you always feel like you know nothing. Even if you are AIR 1, AIR 2, AIR 10, AIR 50, AIR 95, AIR 2000, you will always feel like there is more to study. You will never be contented with the study, whatever you have done. All right. So from first of, so I'll tell you what I did. I, my strategy, this was entirely my strategy. Uh, now coming to the month of January, what strategy I followed? is this uh, so i took my first bullet test on 1st of january 2019 or in that year 2018 all right uh, so i took my first bullet test uh, and then i came to realize a shocking incident that i wasn't scoring even the cut off mark so my first bullet test which i took i got 36 marks on that and i was shocked that okay, okay all right i have been preparing for gate for a while now my preparations to me were up to the mark what happened in the test series i figured out there are mistakes which i made and i gave that one i, I gave those three hours of full length test and i sat down for two more hours to analyze the mistakes which i had done in the full length test so the mistakes which came out were that i i was uh leaving the small concepts behind the big ones the bigger chance uh I had done, but I need to catch the small fishes in the syllabus. So I did that. From 1st to 5th of January, I was on the small portions. I missed out on the calculations. I tried to make my calculations thorough in that period also. So I uh, I was concentrating on the syllabus, which was not thorough with me. On 5th of January, I took my second full length test and I, and I, and I regained a little... Uh, mark so i gained i, I got six, 56 marks in that which was not very good marks for that time but it was better than 36 marks which i scored last time so uh, i got 56 and i was like all right so now i know that i'm on the right path uh, since i see improvement that means i'm on the right path so now i need to continue this path so again after sixth i studied my syllabus again for in three days i finished my my entire chemical engineering syllabus again and next, I sat for the full length test on the uh, 8th of January. Uh, that's when I scored 80 marks. It was a pretty easy paper, I should admit. 80 to 82 marks. Uh, I scored two. Uh, I got two tests, which were pretty easy. Then I scored 80 to 82 marks in that test, in those tests. And the tests were pretty easy. All right. I, I don't blame the test for it or myself for it. Uh, but the tests, which were difficult, I was scoring around 70 to 75 marks on that. And that one, I knew, all right, I'm on the right path. I'm going forward in the right direction. Let me just continue right there. So that was in the that that uh, that 70 to 73 test this i took on 13th of january so after 8th of january what uh, i scored 83 82 marks and i was very confident that i'm on the right path so i studied my syllabus once again i solved all my gate questions once again uh, in the duration of 5 to 6 days and the next text, next test which i took was on uh, 30th of january 2019 and correspondingly to 18 somewhere around that day itself uh, when i took that test i scored around 70 marks i figured out that was a difficult test i scored somewhere around uh, a good rank a single digit rank in that test uh, all right and then then as test series passed i on 18th i took another full length test uh, from 18th uh, i started I did not do any full length test anymore. Now I started solving the previous year gate questions. So previous year gate questions like I started with 2016 paper, 2011 paper because that was made by IIT Madras. Uh, 2011, 2016, 2015 and 13. And I started randomly solving the question papers from uh, these different uh, uh, years. I also took up a couple of papers from 1991 and 1997. Uh, these two papers I solved in those durations. So I solved uh, around eight papers from 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 of January. These five days, I solved a lot of papers. All right. This is a parallel information. Now, note down another parallel information. Solution notebook, formula notebook. You need to have a formula notebook. A formula notebook is something which you need to have uh, for the last four days of the gate examination, before the gate examination, so that you can get thorough with all the formulas which you have studied over your preparation. So, when do you make a formula notebook? You make a formula notebook between, I made a formula notebook between 13th to 18th of January. That's when I was done with all the syllabus. I knew that these formulas are important for the gate point of view and these need to go through my eyes again. These need to go in my notebook. All right, so I knew the mistakes I was making, making in the previous day gate questions. I knew the mistakes I was making in full length test. I knew the formula I was forgetting. So I had to uh, note down the entire formula in a formula notebook. So I made a formula notebook between 13th to 18th of January and then uh, I took uh, gate previous year questions papers as I mentioned to you. Uh, 
on 28th of january i just took my full notes not the formula notebook i took full notes again and i revised all those full notes in a duration of 3 days 23 24 25 maximum 26 say starting from 26 i uh, while i was revising the full notes i was also solving the questions in my notes which i uh, noted although down from the sources uh, after that i uh, between 26 27 28 29 30 i was revising my formula notebook every day i was going through the diary in which i maintain the list of the doubts i was having while i was preparing for gate and uh, between these five days i i i uh, went through all the doubts and all the formula notebooks from 29 till 30 it was maximum from 31 1 and 2 i had to chill out i had to take a break from all the studies because my gate was four days away and i wasn't in any mood to spoil my uh, uh you know preparations so i started sleeping for 10 hours a day it is very important 10 to 11 hours a sleep you need to put your mind to rest by the time you hit 30th of january you will be so saturated you'll almost feel like just give me the damn gate tomorrow i want to give the gate tomorrow i want to study anymore so that's when the saturation is reached it means by 31st of first or second uh, before three days you need to catch a break you need to just do the minimum that is possible so uh, i just revise the formula formula notebook three times a day or maybe two times a day and i played games and slept more i i i i'm a big uh, i i play computer games a lot uh, so i watch movies and whatever things i needed to just you know put my mind to rest to take a break from gate preparations which i have been doing for past uh, couple of months uh, this is what i did and then uh, i had my gate examination i made a lot of blunder i made a very uh, silly mistakes but, but but a lot of silly mistakes but they don't matter the what matters is the final result um this is the this is an ideal strategy this is a good strategy for anybody who wants to prepare for gate and does not have a strategy of their own own of their own uh, if you want you can implement this strategy by slight modifications in your according to your schedule but more or less the time plan should remain same you should begin by august by by preparing notes and by november you should have this by december you should have this by january you should have this i mentioned the entire uh, timeline to you uh, good luck for gate examinations i have been writing on kora and on my blogs for a while about gate examination if you want to read more about it just go there or uh, meet pradeep sir personally by coming to nidhis institute of india uh, good luck for your uh, future endeavors good luck for your gate examination students uh, i hope you score well thank you